what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be going over my top universal audio plugins yeah we're going to be going over the best plugins that they have that i recommend time in and time again to get the best mixes and the best results on your beats every single time i use these almost every single beat that i make and i absolutely love each and every single one of them but if you do not have a uad interface then you're not going to be able to use these plugins because how the uad interface works is it has a little chip inside of it and it lets these plugins act as if they were hardware so without any further ado let's check out my top uad plugins right the heck now let's get it All right, guys, so the first plugin that we're going to talk about today is the Avalon Vacuum 2. And this is actually a representation of hardware that you would see in a lot of studios across the world. So this Avalon Vacuum Tube is really great for things like your 808s. It can also be really good for vocals and anything where you need a vacuum tube a compressor to be on as well. So the thing that I really like about this is you have a lot of presets. So when you open these plugins, if you go right down here, you can see we have all kinds of presets here and we have Mike Dean presets as well. So this 808 compression one I use on every single 808 that I use, it just makes the 808 sound a little bit more tamed, but also punches through a lot better. It's really hard to describe what it does, but it makes the 808 sound way cleaner without taking anything away from it. So let's listen to what it sounds like before and after. So this is without it. And with it, it sounds like this. So it just lets that 808 punch and it just does such a nice clean compression to it without overdoing it whatsoever. Okay, so the next one that I want to talk about is the SPL Transient Designer. Yes, I am a big fan of Transient Designers. I have several. I think I have like three or four of them because I absolutely love to play with them and I love to transform my drums and just make the clickiness, the pop of it so much more than what it already is. So let's listen to what it is, what the kick is like before this and then after it. So before it, it sounds like a regular kick sample, just like this. Real bassy, not a lot of highs in it, but if we turn this on now, you're going to hear the clicky part of it stands out a lot more. So you can hear that click coming through now and it sounds more like a professional kick drum sound. And if we crank this up, you're going to hear what it's doing to it. So as you can see, that little bit right there just does a ton to make your kicks punch through the mix and give it that upper high mids that you want to really shine through in the mix. Okay, so the next plugin is the Neve. 88 RS and it's just a channel strip plugin, but you're actually going to see this in a lot of professional studios these days So this just adds all kinds of dynamics to your melodies or to whatever you want to put it on But I mostly use it for my melodies and again There's lots of lovely lovely presets and that's the nice thing about UAD is they have all these professional or these professional presets from all these professional artists So you can go through here and you can find a lot of them that sound really good so right now we just have this instrument playing and this is what it sounds like. Let's play with some of these presets here. Let's play with this hip hop piano one. So you can tell it just brought a lot out of it. Maybe we try the thick pad enhancer. Let's try the fat electric guitar as well. But I think my favorite one out of the mix was definitely the hip hop piano here. Okay, so the next one we're going to look at is the Poltec. So the UAD Poltec looks like this. And this is just an equalizer and you can get some really great results, especially on your drums and stuff. So once again, I like to use the presets for these ones a lot. So right now I just have this on our snare drum. And this regular snare drum sounds like this by itself. But if we go ahead and add like, let's say this one right here, which is a snare preset. You can see that it added a lot of width and uh, depth to it as well. 
There's also other ones, like this one's a snare one as well. So you can see you can just get different sounds out of your snare using it that way. Otherwise, you can go in here and tweak the bands and boost things or attenuate things wherever you want to go with this plugin, and you get some really, really great results. And you can use this on pretty much anything you want to use it on. This is a goaded plugin that you can use on every single channel, whether it's the melodies, the drums, the kick, the 808, whatever you want to do, you can make it sound a lot better just by dialing it in with this EQ. Okay, and the last one that we're going to talk about for today is the UAD DBX, which is a compressor slash limiter. So it does compression and limiting together all in one plugin. This can be really, really useful for a number of things, whether you want to do it for your 808s, your kicks, you can even do your other drum samples with it as well. But I mostly use this for my kicks when I need a little more out of them. So what I like to do is I actually take this and I put it on a drum channel. So you can see I have a kick and 808 um, return track right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this plugin on here. And we can go through the presets again because I like that they have a snappy kick and a hard kick preset. The hard kick one usually works exactly how I want it to. So what I can do is I can actually control the kick using that. So let's go ahead and listen to the kick in 808 right now and then we'll go ahead and dial it in as well. Alright, let's turn it up now on the kick. So just added a lot of that high end, a lot of that punchy sound to it as well. So it can be really great for using return tracks on your kicks and different things like that as well. All right, guys. So those are the handful of different plugins that I recommend from UAD. Like I said, I use these in almost every single mix that I do because they're all so goaded. I can't even go back to any of my other plugins because they sound so much better because like I said, they're so close to that hardware equivalent that you can't get any closer to it. Literally, you can't. UAD is goaded, but you gotta have one of their interfaces to use their plugins. So anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here before you leave because we're uploading videos like this every single week to help you get better in your music production journey. And besides that, if you want to catch us on Instagram, go ahead and check us out over there. We'll be uploading content to inform you guys on what's going on in the community, and we'll tell you when we have new videos dropping and all that lovely stuff. So if you want to join us over there, go ahead. Also, we have an amazing Discord channel where people are sharing samples, people are collaborating, sharing free drum kits, free sample packs, all kinds of stuff is going down in there, so you're not going to want to miss out on that. Go ahead and join. The link is in the description for that Discord channel, and join the community there as well. And besides that, guys, I'll be catching everybody again in the next one. Peace out, gang.